Oh, there we go. <laughs> ah. And that's my mindfulness bell letting me know that I should be mindful. All right. So, at least a couple of you, I'm sure a couple of you, have never seen this before. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no. The run is invalid. I did not hit Y. We're going to reset that. Pretend you saw nothing. Yes, I am running an LGB monitor, an RGB monitor. There we go. Okay, that's better. Almost messed the whole thing up right out of the gate there. And now we flip the disc. And we prepare to quest for Thelda. Okay, so if you were watching last week, and thank you if you were, uh, you'll know that we completely managed to pooch the save file. Okay, why aren't you... There we go. So my original save file here is, well, broken. Turns out that if you end up getting the crystals in the wrong order, the game crashes. Pretty spectacularly, actually. So we are going to register a new game. Under Hiker 2, The Adventure of Yote. Let's see. Don't have anything official like a count in or anything, so why don't we just get this started? And before we do that, let's close Twitter. Twitter's really distracting. All right. All right, so right off the bat, let's just start heading towards level one. I've got my trusty, oh, you stupid Octorox, or whatever it is you're supposed to be. Deadly crack-addled Qberts. Okay. Hey, hey, come here. Come here and die. Oh, never mind. Like, theoretically, I guess we're speedrunning this tonight. I don't know how that's going to work out, but... I can guarantee it'll be the fastest run of this game that's ever been on Twitch. And yes, I know it will be the only run. That's the joke. <laughs> Oh no. No, 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 no. So I could go out of sequence, run over to level 5, grab the key, or the magic key, and not have to deal with basically any of these rooms. But... 
We're desperately hoping there's an actual ending in this game. Maybe somewhere hidden deep. And since doing things out of sequence seems to break things, we're not allowed to break the sequence. At least not on this run. Bye. I seriously have no idea why I just collected the hammer. All it does is let me access a single shop. It's not like there's anything in the overworld in this game. Oh, sorry. Overground. That's... Ah, come here. Okie doke. I'm looking pretty desperate here, so I'm gonna try to grab at least one heart before I head for the boss, because I don't want to end up getting that soft lock glitch again. Grinding for hearts, grinding for hearts. Here we are in the dungeon grinding for hearts. Nope. Nope. As I try to line up on the precise pixel for where I can hit them, having them jump to the bottom of the screen is actually the perfect thing. Because if they jump to the bottom, then they've hit the boundary, and I know exactly where they line up. Oh no. Shoot. These guys are going to kill me. Oh, the irony. Come here. Come here! Damn it, come here! Okay, that is definitely not what I wanted you to do. That was better. Yeah, come on down here. It's cooler. Nice, lovely wall. That's it. Come here. You know you want to. Okay, just stay there. Ah! Asshole! I'm getting out of here. This is boring me. Up. He? Good. Uh, no, go away. Ah! I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh. Please don't die in a room transition. That would be the worst. Right on the heart. Ah. see serious difficulties. Here, come here. 
So you're probably thinking, who is this terrible streamer who can't even keep his files straight? And you're not wrong. Oh, come on. Murder me. This file needs to die. Thank you. I should have just deleted it to begin with. If you've never watched this before, chances are you have no idea how bad the menuing is in this game either. It's, uh, it's not good. The menuing or the game, it's just, it's not good. The good news is, I don't have to go get the hammer again. The bad news is, I still have to collect all the keys, and all my coins and bombs are gone. You guys, you guys, come on. Down here to that lovely, cool bottom wall. Shoot. All right. Okay. Time for the first boss. Nope. Well, at least I didn't die at the same time he did. Oh my gosh. Hey, Snow Fox! Good to see ya! We are not particularly far along yet tonight. I've managed to get the hammer, and now I'm just trying to get to the boss with enough health to actually kill it without, you know, dying and rendering the game unbeatable. As you can see by my life meter, things have not been going well. <laughs> I'm starting to think that the combat system in this thing works on on joust rules. Like, if I'm higher than them on the screen, then I win. Maybe. Oh, that was a good drop. All right. Pium. Ah, excellent. 
Okay, just avoid these buggers. Oh, you, mm, you, ah! Okay, here we go. Got him. Okay, the door spawned. We have a run. All right. So now we are off to level two. As far as I know, I'm not missing anything from that dungeon. Oh. oh might as well visit the fairy for the extra... Uh. Can I get off of this screen without losing that one half heart? Apparently so. And then almost immediately lose it on the next one. So those of you who might have missed the early runs and are morbidly curious as to what, if anything, the hammer does... That's it. It gets me into this shop. <sighs> okay, so... The very first time I ever played this game, Snow Fox, I got as far as the first level boss, we died at the same time, and somehow that prevented the door from spawning. I don't know why, I don't know how, but yeah, I, the boss and I died at the same time, and there was the door for the uh, Triforce room, sorry, Life Force room, never spawned. And the game was basically soft locked and it stayed that way after I reset it so it actually saved that it had not opened that door here we are on our way to level two I'm pretty sure it's a good long way into the game before I actually get a useful item Yeah, the boss was dead, and the boss stayed dead, and the door never opened. This game is a mess. No, okay, go away, bats. I just got here, don't kill me already. S Frickin' spoil sports! I would love to submit a bug report on a 30-year-old game on a computer that almost no one's ever heard of anymore. That would be fantastic. Oh, I can just imagine what Eric A. Wolf would say. You're, you're still playing that. You, you know you can just emulate Zelda now, right? You, you don't have to... You don't have to play... that. Or I don't know, maybe he's really proud and defensive of his work. I, I have no idea. There's honestly so little information about this game online that I, I don't even know if he's real anymore. It's possible this game just spawned from the ether. <laughs> Who are you and how did you get into my house? Yeah. At 
at some point I should delve into the, the depths of madness that is the online Coco community, where some people are still in denial, and just just to see if he's still hanging out there, or if anybody knows him. I get the feeling that the community that the community for this community for this computer is kind of close. So, okay, no, okay, you can. You want to walk along the bottom wall and straight into my sword? You are welcome, sir. Let's just boogie on along. I don't even remember what the treasure is in this dungeon. I have a feeling it's the flute, and we still haven't found any good use for that. Ah! Ugh. Those Kid Icarus guys. And I'm gonna be dead. Whoa! Got a heart. Got a heart. Still... still barely alive. Take the spell of magic mapping to help guide you! One, two, three... Three clicks to get to the spells menu. It's not terrible. Hmm. Right. I need to go grind and get the magic, uh... I need to go grind to get the crystal ball before I can cast magic spells. So I have a routing decision to make now. Do I finish level 2, or do I go grind for that? Hmm. Well, I don't think it's too very far to get the letter for that anyway, so let's start with that. I am going to try to speedrun this. I mean, at this point, with no one else looking up tech or glitches or ROM warping or anything like that, I'm essentially every complete run I make of this is kind of a speedrun. Sort of. Like, at some point, someone who isn't me, who has programming skills, needs to try and decompile this game and find out... Find out what all the completely silent old people in the overworld do. Find out if Zelda is actually really in the game. Like, I have so many questions. And I have no ability to answer them myself. Oh, good. I could have just... Oh, I'm an idiot. I could have just gone for that from the very beginning. Oh, well. One more thing to add into the route. Run away from the bad guys, because your sword sucks balls, and this is not a good game, but oh well. Okay. You. You're the boss. Yep. One coin? 
Oh, jerks. That's better. Some hearts wouldn't go amiss either. Oh, you came down way too fast, buddy. Do the speedrun people insist on it being played on original hardware? Because that could be a problem with this game. I mean, I have a Color Computer 3. That part's not a problem. But actually getting a disk drive that works and a working disk of this game, that could be a problem. So basically, I need to grind for 200 coins to get the magic orb that lets me actually cast magic spells. And the magic spells are mostly useless, except that one of them is a life spell, which is the most important thing in this game. I also like casting the mapping spell, since it actually shows you the dungeon layout. Not that the layout is in Euclidean geometry, but at least it's there. Uh, ghost coin. Hey, getting up in my face is not a good is not a good strategy, Mister Ghost. I have seen an eBay listing for this game in original packaging, by which I mean it came with the manual and presumably the same Ziploc baggie it was shipped in. Man, that was a hard come down for me the first time I ever worked up the nerve to order a, a game from a magazine for this system. Comes in the mail, and silly me, you know, having seen other computers with their their boxes and their inlays and actual budgets. No, pretty much everything for this system came on a disc that was probably copied by the same guy that wrote it. And yeah, shipped in a baggie. Hopefully with a do not bend sticker on the envelope. And I really shouldn't say that like it's a contemptuous thing. This is a... The color computer was... I guess the ultimate bedroom computer. Certainly I kept mine in my bedroom. But... The only official support you had for it... Was... You know... Radio Shack. And most of them didn't give a... Like, Radio Shack did not give a crap about this machine. By the time the Coco 3 was coming out, they'd basically given up on their microcomputer line and were all about pushing Tandy's bigger, more powerful IBM compatibles. Which were super nice and way the hell out of my price range. Okay, come on. Oh, you're just going to come straight at me then. Okay. 
dude, let me let me start the ghost party before you start running over me. Do you want to have a sweet ghost rave or not? A Tandy laptop. Oh, oh man. I think there was a portable version of the color computer that wasn't in color called the MC1000 or something like that. I'm not real clear on all of this old on all of this old tech and it can be maddening to try and track it all down sometimes. Is it you? I think it's you. No, come here. It was you. I'm sure it's possible to run this game without any of the spells. I'm pretty sure most of them don't do much for you apart from life and map. But mm, that life spell. Okay, I have no idea which one of you guys it is. Not any of you. What about you? No, come here. Oh, geez. So, I guess one of those was him. Go away. Yeah, you, you go play off on that side of the screen until I'm ready to kill you. I'm ready to kill you now. getting low. Alright, life's getting low, coins are getting high, time to play relatively safe for a little bit, at least until some hearts show up. up on. Okay, first stop, the ferry.
<sighs> I, I, I don't have anything witty or cogent to say right now. This is just frustrating. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's, that's good. Like, if this game had just one guy in the overworld who ran a gambling game, or just a couple of places where you could, you know, walk in and someone would give you coins. It's anything. But no, it doesn't. Okay, they did a little shell game dance at the top of that gravestone, so now I have no idea which one of these guys it is. Okay. Not having very good coin luck on this one. Ghost explosive? I guess we'll not find out this time. Ghosts explode! Okay! Whoa! Okay, that guy wasn't even anywhere near the ball. That's a jar. More coins, please. Are the hitboxes in this game?
This is not the exciting Legend of Zelda run I wanted to do. I've been grinding for coins for nearly 10 minutes now, and yeah, part of that is my own fault. But holy cow. I just want to be able to cast the life spell when I finally get the stupid thing. Ah, okay, we got the ghost train that time. And again, weird. Okay. All right, we're halfway there. Fingers crossed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 124. Ah, the ghost stream. Still high. I think 
I can do it this time, and then I don't have to do it again. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Got it. Okay. Okay, come on. All right. It's you, right? I'm pretty sure it's you. It wasn't you. Okay. Is it you? It's not you. Okay, I'm getting really close now and I'm starting to get nervous because they're ganging up on me again. It's like they sense that I'm getting close to what I want to do and then just team up. Oh no no no. You you just you just die outright. I'm not I'm not screwing around with you. Oh, no, 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 no. God damn it! Ah. Ah. Falva! That, that just, that just pisses me right off. I'm going to level two. I'm going to do me some actual progress. Maybe get another heart. Who am I kidding? I'm going to die instantly. But whatever. <sighs> yeah, I'm sorry, Lank, Lunk, whatever we want to call you, your life is cheap. Your life is cheap and grinding is more difficult than you'd think. Moblins on crack. I wish I had the plank. The plank at least makes all this running around the overworld funny. That's right, join me down here on the bottom row. Come on, coward! Fine. Meow. 
I legitimately do not remember what the treasure in this dungeon is at all. It's one of the downsides of only playing this game for the stream. Oh yeah, this is where I got messed up by the floating eyeball dudes. Alright, I've already got your spell. Which means I don't have to mess with you guys at all. Goodbye. Through the bullet hell room. That's a weird shape. Oh god, you bugger off. Get oh, hello again. <laughs> yeah, I'm scared. I don't want to get in front of his tiny, tiny sword. And that was the sound of me stabbing a fireball, just in case you're confused. Oh no, oh no, oh no, come on. <laughs> come on! <sighs> I got him! I just barely got him. Okay. Still don't have the stuff from this level, though, yet. Okay, that's just a key. It can't just be the mapping spell in here. I mean, it can, but I really wish it wasn't. That may be the only the second of those doors that I've found in this game. Yeah, go away. Oh! Cool. The regen ring. That's super handy. Yes, I definitely should have come here before grinding. So, make a note for future routing. Beat Dungeon 2 before you attempt to grind for anything. I might just push it one step further and go straight for level 3 at this point. Or, you know, die. I think death, honestly, would get me to level 3 faster than walking. So we'll call this category No Depth Warps, unless you... No death warps unless you just happen to die. Which you probably will. You, you should have died. That one's not on me. Hmm. 
level three. I'm going to go see if I can get a couple of power-ups, just in case. Okay. Okay, you can get the better shield after level two. Hey, get off my back, buddy. I'm going to make one more little trek while I'm down here. Hold on a second. Let me consult my map. Hmm. I don't think it's supposed to be here. No. Here it is. Can I get the better sword yet? No. Okay. Well, shield will help. Okay, gotcha. All right, I'm on my way to level three. At some point, we're going to have to stop and grind and get all that stuff. Right now, I am much more concerned with building up my heart meter. Down, down, down to the ferry. Get off of me. I've got other things to do, guy. Okay, so this is level three. This is where we get the plank, and the plank is where this whole game just sort of completely breaks. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess I do have to eventually buy a candle, don't I? Oh, well. There's no key in that room anyway. key in this room either. Okay. Hey, get off of me. Oh, that shield is really helping, actually. Bullet hell room. Oh, hey, the compass. <laughs> yeah, that's helpful. Not really. Hmm.
Oh, come on. Yeah, you two just stay right there. You're you're good in there. I think that's where you'll do the best job. Ugh. Okay. Plank. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad you guys are having fun in the wall. I really am. Because it means you're not causing trouble for me out here. Oh shoot. Spoke too soon. Take the spell of life restoration to aid you in your quest. All right. Oh, hang on. Sweet. We still haven't found out what that stupid flute is for. As far as we can tell, it does absolutely nothing. Boy, I'd love to have a map for this one. Ah! We're about to die again. Oh. I wonder how often the... Look, I, I regenerated a heart at some point, so that's good. I wonder how often that actually kicks in, though. And this will be where the boss is hiding. This guy's not too dangerous. I think as long as I'm never actually in his line of sight, I'm good. Eh. Okay, we're just gonna hide and hope for my hearts to restore themselves. I don't dare try to get into his hitbox to stab him until I've got at least one hit worth of energy. Okay, we've got a heart back. Okay, that was too close. Yeah, I don't know what this enemy is called or what any of the enemies in this game are called. I just call this one the hitbox. It's just literally a box that you hit.
my god, this boss doesn't even try. It's sad. Is the video stuttering? Okay. Twitch was having some issues earlier today, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's still having a few. there. Just a little more. There we go. Shoot. I'm trying to think of a less threatening boss. And I just, I can't come up with one. Yes! There we go. Okay. That's level three. It's really not outside the realm of possibility that I could beat this tonight. Do, 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 do. Oh, go away. You guys are jerks. I'd really like for you to stop that. I'm going to go to level four, cause screw the shit, I just want to get through. I could actually go get another cart container too while I'm at it. Hmm. It's kind of a long walk though. Eh. It's probably worth it. Probably. I managed to keep that guy from stabbing me in my head pixel. Cool. Actually, one more thing that I need to do right now is probably get the second sword. Why did I bother doing that? I have the plank. No? You don't give it to me until after level four. But that means you don't get the main... Uh, that means you only have it for like one level before the end of the game. 
which is ridiculous. Hmm. That should have worked. Not sure why it didn't. Wait, I'm number two. <laughs> There's a Wikipedia page in Finnish. Oh, Lord. For all those Finnish Coco users, I guess. But you, you really couldn't play the color computer in the PAL territories. Oh, I do need a light, and I hate you for your pun. Well, let's see how far I can get in level 4 without it, and then we'll worry about it afterwards. I'm not even sure I'm going to get to level 4 at this point. There we go. Boop. Okay. Key. Compass. I think this might be the one dungeon where you actually have to use a bomb to get through. Oh, heck. Where did you come from? You were not there before. Yoink. Check out these prices. Great, huh? No. 25 coins for a single heart. Yeah, the Retro High Game Lord video is about the only thing I'd seen of this game either. And he plays basically to the end of the first level. Can I live long enough to grind? Well, I've got a better chance of it now. Be it noted in the annals of Felda lore that the best time to grind is between levels 3 and 4. Because that's when you start to actually need the candle and you're going to want that life spell anyway. So here's a fun tip for, you know, the actual Legend of Zelda game. If you've got a whole bunch of ghosts on the screen, I guess they're called beanies in that game, um, but if you've got a whole bunch of these guys on the screen, you can always tell the one that's the, that's the, you know, boss ghost, because he's the only one who can't move in diagonals. Not in this game, though. In this game, they all just move the same. Plus, you can actually stab the non-boss ghosts. I'm not sure if that's an improvement. Probably. It would be a bigger improvement if it was easier to stab them. Let's leave it at that. I 
I am the only person making content, well, fresh content anyway, for Quest for Thelda. Okay, the grind is off to a good start this time. Come on, come on, walk into my sword, such as it is. I think I'm at about two, maybe three followers. Like, until I start branching out from Thelda and playing stuff that people have actually heard of, I don't think I'm going to get much more than that. I'm having fun, though. I really on I really and honestly have no idea how Twitch works. Five. C cool. Oh dear. They did that swarming thing again. I'm a little more durable now, though. Ah! Oh no! I got a swarm and they didn't give me jack. That was... Come on! It's enough for the candle, but... Mm. Ah! Oh, shoot. That was an accident. I did not mean to brush up against your tombstone. Please go back to being dead.
To imagine what it must have been like playing this game on the actual Radio Shack joysticks, which were just bloody awful. I mean, it's no picnic playing it on this thing. Can you hear my? Can you hear my thumbstick rattling around? I'd really like to find a way to mute that. Oop. Okay. Clicking is how you know it's real. Okay. accidentally kill the boss ghost? Hmm. I guess I did. All these ghosts are starting to just blend together on me. You know what? I'm gonna I'm just gonna cut and run and go get the candle before I do something dumb and completely erase all of my progress up to this point. Yeah, I, I will. I have to admit, dry humping Cubert is not one of the smarter maneuvers.
Thank you. Okay. And boop, 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 boop. So one thing I was going to do, instead of just continuously running Thelda, uh, was to try and do some of those graphic adventure games like I did last week. I've run into a snag, though. Um, while I was able to save my progress while I was playing, and we actually did load my progress while we were saving, um, it didn't actually save it to the disk. So if I want to start playing Hall of the King again, um, gonna have to figure out how to get around that saving issue. Since the emulator doesn't seem to have save states, and if it does, I'm not sure how it's supposed to work. But I haven't had time to research it this week, so... Here we are again. Always such a pleasure. Okay. Ooh. Okie doke. Like, I'm starting to wonder if... I'm starting to wonder if the magic orb is even necessary. I want it for the life spells. Just that I have a backup in case I really get swarmed in a dungeon. But considering you've got a Ring of Regeneration, and if you really wanted to, you could just... I was going to say if you really wanted to, you could just buy potions, but then I remembered... But the potions cost the potions cost so much money you might as well just you know grind for the orb instead my first run through of this game we never even bothered because they're just economically not worth it you've got the random heart drops you've got a ring of regeneration you've got fairies in the overworld you can get a life spell like, the life potions are super redundant. He said, having died twice already try trying to get this stuff. Oh, hey, Pigeon. Yeah, we're back at this again. We're about halfway through the dungeons, and once I get up enough money to actually buy the orb, we're just going to go... St ah! Yeah, really spooky times. That guy just charged straight at me. Oh, oh, input lag. I have watched way too many speedruns. I've started picking up the vernacular. Oh. Ten coins. Super nice. You. You.
You say amazing FPS. The game is supposedly running at 60. God only knows. Yeah, if you're going to just walk straight into my face like that, I'm going to stab you in the eyeball. Just keep your distance, and I'll let you have a sweet little ghost rave until I'm ready to take you all down. I'm not sure if it drops inputs, because frankly, the bloody thing drops inputs all the time anyway. Like, if I'm trying to change spells, it's almost a minigame in and of itself. Like, guess how many times I'm going to have to press A before it finally lets me switch to the spell menu? And I don't know what's emulation, what's glitch, and what's just bad programming. I really don't. a really long time without killing the boss ghost on this screen, or else I forgot I did. Nope. I just went a really long time without killing him. Alright, we're at 202. Okay, just, just, no. Ghosts, just no. I don't know how, how you fit that many ghosts in one grave, but I think a more... What's the word I'm looking for? I think a more apt and disturbing question is, why are there so many graves in Hyrule as it is? Oh, sorry, Galadurl. I mean, as a little piece of environmental storytelling, that's sort of disturbing. Okay, you gormless dude. Get over, get... Oh. And now we can't 
play the coin song. Yeah, one thing the color computer never was, was an audio powerhouse. I mean, it could be. But you basically had to be doing nothing else with the processor at the time. actually use the stupid candle as an item, which means more menuing. Hang on, can I just walk in and out of the dungeon and multiply the keys? Did they think of that? They did not! And so the last vestige of possible puzzle design in this game just spirals into nothingness. I'm going to cast the mapping spell. There we go. Oh yeah, I remember this dungeon. So this is the dungeon where the layouts stop being Euclidean. Oh wait, I want to go back to life. Now, oh, come on! There it is. Uh, the keys are not unique to each dungeon. Like the original Legend of Zelda, your keys can carry over from one dungeon to another. Uh, unlike Legend of Zelda, you lose all your keys if you die. Okay. Also, unlike Legend of Zelda, this is a bad game. So, I'm not sure why I went out of my way to pick up the tornado. All the tornado does is randomly teleport you around the map at the cost of 10 coins. It's honestly worthless. Take the spell of invincibility to help protect you. Okay, Snow Fox, I have recently been replaying the original Legend of Zelda, and it is not a terrible game. It is far from a terrible game. It's a hard game. It's got some strange design choices. 
like the stopwatch. Never really understood why the stopwatch was there. I was always really glad to get it, provided I could get it before, you know, I'd already, if I hadn't already killed the last enemy. But uh, going back and playing it again after several years, just going through it from start to finish, you start to understand how it's balanced. Like, things like keys are hidden behind small, easy challenges, like defeat these bats to get a key. You have a reason to, dis to defeat enemies, because there might be something in the room. Um, it's designed with interlocking systems for, for enemy drops, and... I don't think that key is actually important. I really don't think that key is important in the slightest. But he hands it to me anyway, because he is old and he needs something to do. Okay, come on. <sighs> Plank physics, yo. Yeah, I kind of figured that one out. If we'd gone, like, this far into the game without figuring that out, it would be very, very sad. Speaking of sad... To be fair to this game, what if a P-hat but giant is not something that they've ever done in a mainline Zelda game? On the other hand, P-hats are one of the worst enemies in the original Legend of Zelda, because they're terrible and they fly and you can't hit them. Just... Oh, right. That trick. I know at least one NES streamer and YouTuber who swears that Top Gun the Second Mission is actually much better than the first game. I mean that's not a hard that's not a hard bar to clear, but still. Oh, you guys are just the worst. Come here! I don't care if it's pushing this... Th Ooh, come here. I will now go right and go up. All right. don't even need the money. I don't know why I took it. Force of habit, I guess. I should be able to get the white sword now.
Gimme. Thank you. Now, I don't remember where the other shield is. Actually, I kind of do. Yeah, I think, I think I remember where it's at. Did I get stuck in a corner? I got stuck in a corner. Ugh. No, I think I went the wrong way. Oh well. Exploring! Oh yeah, this is that little two-room cul-de-sac. Doing an awful lot of running around looking for a shield I probably can't get anyway. That's where the other sword is. And I know I can't get that yet. Well, never mind. It's probably not important. Oh, yeah, the mountain textures are not, not great. Something that puzzles me about the design of this game is the areas where he's completely 100% ripped off Legend of Zelda. Like, to the pixel, to the animation frame. And then the other spots where he just... Yeah... Instead of Octorox, you have Crackhead Cubert. Yeah, I have a sad confession to make about Dark Souls, guys, since you're talking about it in the chat there. Um, can't beat it. Won't beat it. They make me want to, they're trying to make me kill a wolf. I just can't do it. Oh no, it's the next one, it's the next screen down, isn't it? Yes, okay. <laughs> Yeah, not only do they make you kill the dog, not only do they make you kill the wolf. It's like, okay, so in order to finish this game, you're, first you're going to have to stab Amaterasu. I can't do it. And then, on top of that, they just wrench, just wrench you. 
by having the by having the wolf be basically the only thing in the game that isn't completely corrupt and awful. Yeah, I've I've been warned about the DLC as well. It's like, okay, so basically I can never finish Dark Souls. And I'm the guy that's I've done crazy things. Like I've I've played all the way through Dragon Warrior, like the first NES game, and just beaten it without beating up on any of the wolf characters. I don't extend this courtesy to every wolf character in every video game, but... Yeah, when I can. Take this key to unlock the door to magic. Thanks, I'm just looking for more damn inventory items. Oh. You finished Long Mulana 2. Okay. Did you actually have to consult a uh, an FAQ at any point? Because that was the only way I was ever able to get anywhere in that game. Well, the first game, anyway. Oh, yeah. tiny The tiny little buff dragons in this one. Forgot about them. Okay. Hmm. Technically, it's like four minutes to ten, and the stream usually ends at ten o'clock, but I'm willing to stick around and see this to the end, since we're basically one dungeon from the finish. Uh-huh, and I found the boss before I found the item. And now I will go right to go down. And right up straight in here to get... This is still the dorkiest looking version of this key ever. In the interests of, you know, just using it, I'm going to see where that takes me. And that's actually worse. And it took me to the same place. Okay. Lovely. I was trying to save some time, but I think I just screwed myself. Yep. Um, hold on. Where am I at? Um, Right, okay. Mm. 
Oh god, these guys. Go away. Thank you. So every time I, I flick my eyes away to look at the chat for just a second, I end up doing something stupid. So sorry if I'm not keeping up, guys. I'm honestly just trying to remember where the... I can picture in my head what the room looks like, but I can't picture in my head where to find it because it's one of those areas that doesn't correspond to the Zelda map. Okay, well, I can get the sword anyway. I don't think the shield is super necessary. What? I'm one dungeon from the end of the game. He should be giving me this sword, but he's not. So that means that I need to get the shield first. Which means I need to figure out where the bloody shield is hiding. Yeah, I just walked through a wall. It ain't no thing. And... Oh right, that doesn't pause things. Come on, come on. I think it's over by where Spectacle Rock is supposed to be. So, okay, now I should be able to get the sword, I think. Yeah, you know what? It's, it's three after ten, but... Whatever. Whatever. At this point, we're powering through this. Provided we don't end up getting lost again. Uh, 
Uh, so long story short, Dronin, I started over again from the beginning. Because the last save file was borked. I'm going straight to the end of the game. The guardian of the last piece of the life force will be your worst foe. Beware! I honestly don't know why I'm bothering to bring up the map. We all know that it doesn't actually correspond in any logical way to rational cardinal directions or sense, but I'm doing it anyway. It is literally not worth wasting the time to try and make the menu acknowledge that I'm switching to candle. Hi, RetroFox. Yeah, sorry. I was kind of worried that putting it on a... putting on a different day would mess things up and... Oh my gosh. Okay. So, my strategy of not bothering to switch to the candle didn't pan out. Doot, doot. Because I've completely forgotten what that room looks like, and it's total bullet hell. Oh, okay. I have no idea why it wasn't letting me go to the right when I went up. Or left. Right? Left? Uh. Well, if nothing else, I have a proof of concept. It is possible, if I don't screw up and go a lot faster, to actually beat this whole game in a single stream. Under two hours, in other words. Oh my goodness. You know, I wasn't going to stab you guys, but then you decided to make a problem. Wait. <laughs> I walked straight past the point where you're supposed to get the magic sword without bothering to pick it up. I have no one to blame but myself if this goes south. Okay, get off of me. Oh boy. So in answer to your question, if he's, you know, this is my worst foe. And I'm just going to let him do his little drunk walk at the top of the screen. Done. 
Okay, we beat the dungeons in order. Is there an ending? Holy shit. And that's the ending. <laughs> you know, maybe the real Zelda was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> Oh, and the best part is, I didn't die for a really long time on that save file, so if I start that up again, I'm basically going to have to do everything from Legend 4, Legend 4, Dungeon 4, on, over again. <laughs> oh my god, I wasn't expecting much. I honestly wasn't. But so far, I think the best ending we've gotten is the one where I did things out of order and everything just glitched to hell. But now that we know there's not a proper ending to the game, that frees us up to just sequence break the hell out of it. We still don't know what the flute does. If anything. There's still those weird... There's still those weird, significant-looking rooms on the map that don't do anything. And there's still, like, a half-dozen old people just scattered around the map that don't do anything. Apart from that one crazy old man who shoots you... Now come back here. Apart from that one crazy old man who shoots you for giving, you the, for giving him the wrong letter. Oh yeah, my <laughs> Yeah, I decided to wear my Fernal Equinox Zelda shirt tonight. It seemed appropriate. Yeah, so I guess it's time to reach out to the Coco community and see if we can't track down Eric, a wolf, to see if he'll actually tell us what was going on here. It wouldn't surprise me if the game was unfinished. Um I've referred to this before as the second most blatant ripoff on the color computer. And the most blatant ripoff is actually an incomplete game. And since I'm already, you know, up past bedtime anyway, I might as well show it to you. Where is it? There you are. Oh. Placeholder pigeon, spoiling my fun. That was a spoiler. Not that the name wouldn't have been anyway. What is the what is the load command for this one? Oh. <laughs> and yeah, it's it's the same company. Now, I have no idea if Felda was ever officially released. I'm pretty sure it was because I've seen, like I said, I've seen boxed boxed copies of it uh, on eBay. Now those could just be some guy those could just be some guy putting uh, putting the game on Coco Disc. I don't know. Um... This one, I'm pretty sure, was never actually released. It's actually incomplete.
Now, the color computer had, just before we get to it, the color computer had basically no first party or, or third party support. Um, so it was almost entirely bedroom, bedroom programmers making ripoffs of popular arcade games and selling them. And there are some pretty blatant ripoffs of Donkey Kong and Pac-Man and Ms. Pac-Man and any basically any early 80s arcade game you could name. There's some blatant ripoffs of Load Runner, which are actually pretty good. But Quest for Zelda and this game, I think, are the most these are these are the biggest ripoffs. These are the most audacious ripoffs on the system. Uh, I don't know if Doug Maston was the original programmer or the one who took over. There's some saltiness between the programmers on this game. Have you figured out what it is yet? You're about to hear background music. Please do not be alarmed. So, the game is incomplete. Um, as you can see, the turrets are completely spastic. And none of the power-ups work other than rapid fire. This isn't just a blatant ripoff, it's also a half-assed ripoff. Uh, and supposedly whoever started originally programming it just sort of gave up. And the guy that was brought in to air quotes finish it kind of felt like he would just get it to a running state and not go any further because he didn't want to be spending his, all of his time cleaning up quote, someone else's mess, unquote. So there's a, yeah, there's some saltiness. Okay, screw this. I have honestly have no idea if the Konami code works in this game. It might, for all I know. God damn, this thing takes forever to kill. Are you seriously not going to let me kill it unless I kill the cannons first? might have actually just... They might have actually just stolen the, uh... stolen the sprite assets straight from the game, except for these guys, who are a little... whose palettes are a bit off and they look more like lemmings. Oh, game over. I can continue? I would like to continue. How do I continue? The continue menu is broken. So yeah, I honestly have no idea how, how many stages are in that, or how long it is, um, but 
That's the most blatant ripoff on the Color Computer 3. In a system that was almost entirely built on blatant ripoffs, that stands out. <laughs> And it would appear that it has done awful things to my emulator. Anyway, guys, it's uh, getting pretty late, so I'm going to call the stream there. Um, thank you for coming out. I always enjoy having, a, having an audience while I subject myself to this torment. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I'm going to try and research the whole save file problem and see if we can't get Hall of the King going again next week. If not, if people really want to, we can try to we can try to route the speed running for Felda now that we know there's no actual ending to be lost. All right. So have a good night guys and uh, we'll see you later. <laughs>